Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my empties and low buy update for the month of July. I've really made a mess of things in the past month. I have an entire What the Haul Paula that I posted within the past week to show you guys all of the products that have come into this house and into my life in the past month. And if you missed it, I will try to remember to link that down below, but I just posted it a few days ago, so you can find it and see the mess that I made if you missed it. But let's start with the empties and then we will get into my low buy update. I actually have a decent amount of empties, but unfortunately none of them are really worth any points towards my low buy bank. So I'm not getting any help in that area either. We're just, we're in big trouble here, but let's, let's just go. Let's do it for the hair. I have a shampoo product. This filthy dirty bottle is the TS shampoo. It's the TS shampoo. That's all it says. I received this from 08L for review purposes a long while ago and I just finally finished it. It is a very creamy, rich shampoo. If you have very dry hair or if you or if your climate gets very dry throughout the year at any time, I would recommend this. But if you are on the oily side as far as your hair type, or if you live in a climate with a lot of humidity, I don't think you would need something this rich. I did like it for me, but I'm very like normal, like not too oily, not too dry. So it worked for me, but that's my review. I'm glad it's gone. And I'm glad that 08L and this company sent this product to me for review because who couldn't use shampoo? You always need shampoo. I finished a deodorant. As far as things like shampoo and deodorant, those don't really contribute or take away from my low buy. They're not really part of that, but I like to keep track of how long it takes me to use these items to get a good idea of like how many I could go through in a year. It's just good information. So I like to talk about it in these videos and include them in my empties photo on my Instagram page, just in case I'm trying to figure out how many of these things I go through and how long it takes me. This is the native brand deodorant in the scent apple and honeysuckle. I thought it was really good. I, um, the inside part, fell out and jumped in my sink. So I just threw it right in the garbage. I just kept the outer packaging. Um, I've talked about Native before. I talk about Native every time I have an empty. I really like the Native brand deodorant. Out of all of the natural deodorants I've ever tried, Native works the best on me. What Native cannot do is help me from like nervous sweats, if I like get into a confrontation at work or something where I have to like defend myself and I start perspiring out of nervousness, I will stink up a room. I really will. This does nothing for the nervous sweats. It also wouldn't be that good if I was like exercising, but don't worry, I don't exercise, so I don't really have to worry about it. But just from day to day, like regular lifestyle stuff, this works great. Like I said, it's the best natural deodorant I've ever tried. Now recently I've been hearing a lot of good things about a newer natural deodorant that has come on the scene. I cannot think of what it's called, but I'm curious to try that deodorant and see if it's better than this. I will leave it right here on the screen because I'm curious if any of you have tried that deodorant and if you have any thoughts about how it compares to the Native brand deodorant. But for now, I'm gonna stick with the Native and um, Keep enjoying it because I just, I like their brand a lot. Um, they do have a plastic free packaging deodorant, but for some reason they charge more for that than this. And I just, I, that, oh, that kind of angers me. I don't like that they're charging more for the plastic free packaging than they are for the plastic packaging. It's almost like they're discouraging you from buying it and I'm feeling discouraged. So I would love to try the plastic free packaging, but I'm annoyed that they don't carry all the scents in the plastic free packaging and that they charge more for it. So that's neither here nor there. I finished this deodorant and I liked it a lot. I feel like all my empties this month are super random. This is a pocket back 
In the Scent Sweet Pea from Bath & Body Works. I've literally had this for like 20 years. I never needed it until Corona came along and all of a sudden I started thinking maybe I should use some antibacterial hand soap every now and then. So I started using it and it's finally gone. I'm one of those people who've never been a huge fan of antibacterial soap. I'm a big believer that we need germs. They make us stronger. You don't want to kill all the germs. So I never used this. But then when Rona showed up, I thought, you know, if I just went grocery shopping and touched a bunch of money and a bunch of shopping carts and a bunch of groceries, maybe I should use some hand gel. So I started using this during coronavirus and that's how I used it up. But I've literally had this forever. I'm sure for those of you guys who are Bath and Body Works experts, you can tell how old this is based on the packaging and the design of the sweet pea, but I've had it forever. I finally finished my little body lotion from Bath and Body Works. This is in the scent Twilight Woods. I really love this scent. This was in my 50 Shades of Purple project and um, I do still have part of a full size of this scent that I will eventually use up. But yeah, I really like this scent. It suits me very well. I feel um, very pretty when I wear the scent. And despite the fact that I have way too many body lotions, I'm kind of sad that this is gone, but I did enjoy it very much. I finished this itty bitty sample of Johnson's baby shampoo. I use this for two reasons. I use this to make my eye makeup remover, my homemade eye makeup remover, and I use this to clean my brushes. I originally received this because it was a part of like a baby shower gift that I got when I had one of my babies. But since I didn't use it for my babies, I used it for those two reasons and it is now gone. I used, I actually cleaned some brushes the other day and finished it off. It's not that often that I clean my brushes, but when I do, I use this. I have a few perfumey things that I finished off in the past month. First of all, I have my bottle of Heaven Scent. You guys have heard this story before. This was in my advent calendar project for the year. And this perfume was gifted to me by my parents for Christmas or my birthday, probably when I was like 10. And I am now in my 40s. So I've had this for a while. And it was one of those where I didn't love the scent, but I didn't want to use it up either until finally I want to use it up. I don't want to have a million bottles. If I should move again one day, I don't want this coming to another house. It's been to enough houses. I wanted to use it up and I finally did. I'm really happy about that. And I did finish two perfume samples. The first one is from Sol de Janeiro and this is the scent Sol. This smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. If you were wondering what this smells like, it smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. If you don't like the body lotion, but you like the scent, I highly recommend you check this out. This is the, I'm gonna butcher the name, but I will try. It is the Cher Shirosa 62. I'm gonna call it Shirosa. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's the packaging. And this is what the bottle looks like if you buy the full size. Oh, I enjoyed this very, very much. I really like the scent. It is a nice scent. And I am on a no buy for perfumes and body lotion. So I won't be buying this or the body lotion anytime soon. But I'm glad to know it's out there. And I did put this on my wish list because a girl can dream, okay? A girl can dream. And the final perfume that I finished was from Valentino. It's the Voce Viva. Voce? I don't know if I'm saying that right. The Voce Viva perfume. I really enjoyed this too, but I don't think I would be buying the full size of this. Now that more time has passed, I've realized that I like it, but I like others a little bit more. So I don't think I would be interested in buying the full size of this. I might take it off of my loves list, but I did finish the scent and it was a pleasure to use up. I liked it very much. I finished another lash enhancing serum from Rodan and Fields. I use this on my eyelashes every single night. I've been using it since like December of 2018, so it's been a while. I have a Rodan and Fields lady that I order this through, and 
I really think this works. I have not tried any other lash enhancement serums. I know Grande makes one. I'm sure there's a bunch of others out there. This is the only one I've ever used, so I cannot compare it to anything else, but I can tell you that it works. My eyelashes have never looked as good as they have since I started using this, and I love the look of longer lashes on me, so I'm gonna keep using this. I've already opened a new one, and I'm already working on it. It's it's really too bad that it's such a pricey product, but I probably will never stop using it. All right, finally, let's talk about my makeup empties. There's just a few odds and ends here. I found this little guy hiding on my bathroom counter when I was cleaning it off the other day. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eye Primer. This came with the pan of the Magnificent Metals that I had in Project 10 uses a while ago. And this is the liquid that they recommend using in conjunction. The Magnificent Metals that I'm talking about is the one that's in the pan, not the one that's now the liquid in the tube. And this is what you need to really get that to apply nicely and evenly on your lids. But this is basically gone. I cannot get, well, this is gone now. I don't know why I didn't put it in my empties a while ago. I must have lost this little bottle on my bathroom counter, but this is definitely empty. So that's going. I'm not going to give myself any points for that because it came with the Magnificent Metals eyeshadow and I still have that, but I don't need that sitting around anymore. I also finished my ABH Clear Brow Gel. I received this as a gift from Influencer and ABH for review purposes. And when I first got it, I had just finished using a ColourPop Brow Boss. And I my initial impressions of this was this is basically the same as the ColourPop Brow Boss and it's so much more expensive and the wand is way bigger than the ColourPop one. I don't like it. I'll just keep buying the ColourPop. But over the time that I use this, I have totally fallen in love with this product and actually considering how long this tube lasted, I don't know if it's that bad of an investment. Um, I've also heard from some of you guys that if you buy the like half size version, the $10 version instead of the $20 version, it's the best bang for your buck because that one lasts forever too, but it's half the price. So I definitely think I would buy this again in the future. I'm currently working on a brow gel from NYX that I tried, that I thought I would try out and just kind of purchased on a whim, but I ended up really enjoying this a lot and I'm kind of sad it's gone. I would, re I would definitely repurchase this in the future. And finally, I have my two declutters. This is a very, very, very old CoverGirl liquid lipstick in the shade 654. I've had it forever. Um, I had this in Project 10 uses. I found out that I really liked the color, but the formula just drove me crazy. And then finally one day I broke it and I thought, you know what? It's a sign from up above, time to let it go. So I am decluttering this. I did do a video in the past month where I shopped my stash for dupes of this shade and I found several, several very good dupes for this color. So that made it a lot easier for me to decide to, to declutter it because really this formula was so hit or miss and I'm assuming part of the problem with this formula is that it changed. I mean, I've had it forever and sometimes I would apply it and it would just start flaking off like little flecks of lipstick would just fall all over my face. So. Um, I'm assuming it just went bad because it's a million years old and I will use old products. I don't have any problem with it, but if they're not performing like they should, or if they smell bad or something like that, it is definitely time to declutter it. And that was the case for this one. So that's getting decluttered. And while I was shopping my stash for dupes for that lipstick, I ran across this lipstick in my bin of lipsticks and it has gone off. It no longer smells like anything I want to put on my lips, which is too bad. This is an old lipstick from the body shop in the shade Idealic. It's basically brand new. Of course, I'm kicking myself for not using it when I first got it or any time in the following years after that, but it's too late now and lesson learned. Stop buying more lipsticks, Paula. You gotta use the ones you have. So this is being decluttered as well. 
Hi guys, I had a few of you ask me to give you an update on this foaming body scrub from this brand Onyx Bathhouse after I've tried it. And um, I wanted to just let you guys know that this is very, very similar to the Bliss foaming body scrub that I loved so much. The consistency is the same. It's just as sudsy. It's just as scrubby. I love this. I'm absolutely loving this. I've only used it three times and I've only used this one, but it smells like mm, coconut sunscreen. See, it just smells so good. I'm really enjoying it. So just wanted to give a quick update on this. I bought this at my local TJ Maxx. They had maybe, I don't know, eight different scents. I only picked up four. I'm going to try not to pick up any more, but this is really good if you are wondering, and if you see this at your local TJ Maxx, I would recommend it. I paid $5.99 for it. I have so many products on my bathroom counter right now that as I'm using them every day, I'm looking at them going, oh, you were so close to being in my July empties, but they are not gone as of yet. They should be in my August empties, but... I just feel like I've had a really slow month for empties for many, many months now, and I need a good month with lots of good empties, but July wasn't really one of them. In fact, as far as everything I just showed you, I can only give myself three and a half points for all those empties because so many of these products don't count towards my low buy. The ones that I feel do deserve points are the ABH Brow Gel, the Perfume, the lipstick I am decluttering and a half point for this body lotion. Normally I would give myself a point for this as well. However, this came with a clear balm that you would apply over it and that balm is still good and I'm keeping that. So because I'm keeping that balm, I'm not going to give myself a point for this. I'm just gonna move my balm over from my liquid lipstick category to my lip balm category. So so no point for this one yet, but as soon as I finish that balm, or when I eventually finish that balm, I will give myself a point for finishing these. So that stinks. Only three and a half points going towards my bank. So let's move on to my low buy update. As of my empties and low buy video last month, I said I was in the hole for nine and a half points. However, I read your comments, I gave it some more thought, I slept on it, and I realized that some of the mini eyeliners that I hauled from last month need to be accounted for in some way. So I went back and I thought about it some more and there were six mini eyeliners from Marc Jacobs that I purchased and I had not counted towards my low buy bank in any way. I decided that I'm going to charge myself one point for each of those eyeliners and I will give myself a half point when I finish them, but I am going to charge myself one point for each of those eyeliners that I brought in. So that brings my low buy balance to negative 15 and a half points. By now, hopefully you have seen my what the haul from last week. And when I add up all of those things that I purchased that are going to count against my low buy, that means I need to count 16 points against my low buy bank. And when I subtract the three and a half points that I just mentioned right now from my empties, that leaves the balance of my low buy bank at negative 28 points. I've had a lot of fun in June and July, but the shopping absolutely needs to stop. It absolutely needs to stop. I need to get my low buy bank balanced, if not with a surplus of points for the future. This is out of control. I'm not feeling good about where I'm at, but it did happen. And I'm here to acknowledge that I made some mistakes and that I'm going to be accountable for it. So I need to dig myself out of this 28 point hole. I have, I have to get through a lot more products. Hopefully that will happen soon. I don't know if it will or not, but that's where I'm at as of today. So I'm in the hole for 28 points on my low buy bank. Not good, but I don't really feel the urge to shop right now. So 
I think it's out of my system. As long as I stay out of my local TJ Maxx, I should be okay. Um, I don't have any points calling my name at Alta. Yeah. So that's where we're at, you guys. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.